Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched several transformational initiatives since he came to power. Make in India and Swachh Bharat Mission immediately come to mind. But if there is one initiative that has completely transformed the nation and pushed India towards becoming a developed economy, it has to be the Production Linked Incentive or PLI scheme. In fact, it is already on course to make India the fastest growing economy in the world. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national sociopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush and if you haven't subscribed to TFI English yet, please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to receive all the recent updates. Going back to the story, I will tell you how the World Bank is in awe of India's PLI scheme. Let's begin. There is some really good news coming for India directly from the World Bank. India is all set to emerge as the fastest growing economy in the world, backed by the success of the Modi government's production linked incentive scheme. As per the World Bank, India's economy is likely to grow at 8.7% in the next financial year 2022 23. On the other hand, China, Indonesia and Bangladesh are expected to grow at 5.1%, 5.2% and 6.4% respectively in the emerging market and developing economies. The World Bank stated that it has upgraded India's growth numbers to 8.7% in the financial year 2022-23 and 6.8% in financial year 23-24 to reflect an improving investment outlook with private investment particularly manufacturing, benefiting from the production-linked incentive scheme and increases in infrastructure investment. The PLI scheme was launched by the Modi government amidst the COVID-19 pandemic to bolster the manufacturing sector of the country. The scheme involves incentives of 1.97 lakh crore rupees over a period of five years and covers 13 sectors such as telecom, electronics, auto parts, advanced batteries pharmaceutical drugs and solar energy components. The government expects that the PLI scheme will improve local manufacturing, thereby helping the Modi government's Atma Nirbhar Bharat India campaign. It is also likely to boost India's export sector. In fact, last year, PM Modi said that the PLI scheme is likely to increase production levels in the country by $520 billion over the next five years. BNP Paribas Assessment Management said that the success of PLI is expected to add 1.7% to the country's GDP by 2027. It added, according to the industry estimates, the scheme could generate $150 billion in new sales and $70 billion of domestic value added or 1.7% of 2027 GDP. They could add a substantial 0.03% to annual GDP growth between 2023 and 2027. The direct impact of these schemes is likely to be larger on labor than on capital spending. There is likely to be significant upstream activity as a result, driving further gains in jobs and spending. The scheme is now helping India topple China and emerge as world's leading production powerhouse. In its report, the World Bank said that growth in emerging market and developing economies is forecast to moderate 4.6% in 2022, as macroscopic policy support continues to be withdrawn and rebound in China eases. However, the World Bank has given a positive outlook for India. It has stated that investments in India should benefit from the resumption of contact intensive services and ongoing fiscal and monetary support. The PLI scheme is changing how global manufacturing looks like. China is going down whereas India is rising into a big manufacturing powerhouse. 